Hey everyone, this is Keith here from Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video, I'm going to walk through the installation of WordPress Network or WordPress Multisite on my local machine. And I'm going to use this software here to, uh, to accomplish that. XAMPP. Now we can go to google.com, type that in, and you'll be able to see the links to download the software. I'm using Windows, so I downloaded the version for Windows. Here we can click the download link, and then we have a choice between which, if we want to get the installer. I grabbed the installer, it's an executable file, I double clicked it, and I just went through the process. And I went through, I, I allowed it uh, all the defaults to be set up, all the software that I wanted to include, I let it include, and I let it install in the proper, in the folder, the default folder that it wanted to. And after installation, it activated the control panel. At which point I started Apache and then I started MySQL. Now the next step is to go to localhost slash PHP myadmin. Okay, and then here we can set up the database for WordPress. Okay, we can go to existing databases and there's a few of them here. And I'm going to go to create a new one for a WordPress install. Click create. It's done. Let's check the privileges, make sure everything's good. Yes. Root has access to it, um, and the host is localhost. Now, if we go to localhost slash security, we can set a password for root. Now, by default, there's no password at all. So we just click on this link here. Oh, first of all, you might want to change it to your to your to English when you lo when you access this page, and we'll click on this link here, and then we could put in a new password here. So I'm just going to put in password, which is insecure, obviously, but just for example's sake. Okay, now in the control panel at the bottom, we can restart. Restart MySQL. Okay. Yeah, so now we're prompted for a password when we go to PHP MyAdmin. Okay, so we got we, our WP database. We have all privileges. The host is localhost, the user is root, and the password is password. So we need that information when we're configuring WordPress. Now I have the WordPress, the latest version of WordPress right here, so I'm going to install that. First, I'm going to extract the files. Then I'm going to modify the config file, rename it. Okay, database name, we called it WP, user's root, password is password, localhost, that's accurate, and we'll just put in this switch here so that we can turn on multi-site right away. It's a good idea to change this for security reasons. Okay. All right. Now, where we install the site, there's a there's going to be an HT Docs folder in the folder where you installed the uh, the software. So, in my case, it's in C colon. XAMPP and then htdocs. It's going to be a bunch of files in there already. I'm just going to remove them and install WordPress in there instead. So put the WordPress files in there. Now I'm going to browse to localhost.
Okay. And of course, if we were installing WordPress for real, we would change the admin username. Let's put in a secure password. I'm just putting in password again. It's going to be weak, but okay. And install WordPress. So we're just going through the basic installation for WordPress. This doesn't install uh, the network or the multi-site, but that switch that I put in to the config file will turn it on on that feature. So from within the panel here, the control panel or the dashboard, I'll be able to go through the installation of the network. All right. So under tools, there's going to be a new menu option called network setup. And the reason that exists is because we put that switch in the config file. All right, let me go back to that just to show you. Okay, in the config file here, near the bottom, I put this allow multi-site. WP underscore allow underscore multi-site, and then I set it to true. Because of that, we we have this network setup option. So click on that. And then we give it a title for the network. Now these files, we have to modify some of the uh, WordPress files here. So we're going to... This gets modified from... Uh, we, we add this to wp-config and then we'll add these to HD access afterwards. We can get rid of this now. Alright, now we'll get these for HD access, and we're going to replace any existing commands within within this file. Any existing WordPress stuff, that is. Okay, now let's log back, log out, and we'll log back in. Now we have a network admin option under my sites there. Then we can go to the dashboard for that. And this is where we would install the plugins and the themes that are going to be available to the sites on our network. And then we can add sites directly from within here. All right. Um, this is again. This is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.